Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can stack items. So when you pick up two items of the same type it will stack. And also you will see the amount of items inside the inventory. So let's go. So the first thing is we want to make the amount of items visible in our inventory. So we open up our inventory widget from the last tutorial. And here we go to the item slot widget as well. Inside here we take a text component, put it right here. In this case we replace the text with example the number 2 and then you can place it wherever you want. I want it in the right corner down here, this one. And yeah, this looks pretty good. So we just call this amount and make it a an variable. So we delete the number, of course, and then we go back to our inventory widget, go to the graph, and we go from the cost to item slot, from the as item slot, and say get amount. There we have our text element, and now we just have to set it. Of course, we go from the amount and say set text, up here, copy and paste this down here, like that, connect the target of course, and then we just go from the amount to the text, and it will automatically convert the, the integer into a text. So that's it here, then we can close this, and now I want to make a parent clause for all items, so it makes easier to replicate items, create new ones, it's much easier. So the first thing is we go right click blueprint class actor and this will be the item class. Open this up and the first thing is like the last time we add up our interface, so interact interface of course we need this in every item then we need a um, static mesh, just a static mesh as a root component like this, and we need a um, box collision like that. So and we can leave it because that's the parent class, we will set it for the separated items later. So now we need a few variables here, the first one will be the item itself of course, this will be our item structure that we created last time. We just leave it to the default value and the second one will be the variable called contain. This will be just in boolean to see if it's already in our inventory. For this one we want a new function that will be called append item. So the append item will get two input values. So in the first place it will be the inventory itself. This will be in item structure as an array. The second one will be our character and this of course is our third person character object reference as a single variable. Like that. So from here we go for, and for each loop with break, connect the array of course. From the array element we say break item and we get our item structure that we created. We go from the item here, get it and of, again we say break item. So we have to compare the items inside our inventory with the item that we want to pick up. For this we want to compare the name. So let's say equal text and compare the name in our inventory with the name of the item. For this of course we need a branch to ask, connect the loop body with a branch and now we want to set the item actually, so we get it, set and then we say right click split structure pin and now we are able to set each of these elements here. In this case we connect the name, the amount, thumbnail and the valid 
but we can disconnect the amount again because we want that the amount is going up. So we take the amount of the item, say integer plus integer, and connect it of course with the item that is already in our inventory. Because it checks, is the item already in our inventory? If it is, so only true case, we want to set the amount plus the item that we picked up. Then, of course, we want to set the contain to true because it is contained. And at last, we take out the inventory again and say set array element. The target array is, of course, our inventory. The array index is the index. And our items, our return value here is the item that we want to set. From here on, we go to the break of the for each loop, compile and save this. And now we take out our contain boolean, get it, ask for branch of the complete. So if we go through the branch to see if it contains already the item in our inventory. If it does, we just destroy the actor then we go from the character, get the widget, and then we would just want to update our inventory. And we connect, of course, the inventory with the inventory. In case of that we not having this item in our inventory, we want to add up the new item. So we need a new function, add item. This function, of course, gets the inventory as well. This is an item as an array. And the second input is the character, of course, as a third person character, object reference, single variable. Like this. And this is also started with an for each loop with break, again, we connect the inventory with the array. Then we go from the array element and say break item. We need the branch here to ask is the item valid. And we go from the inventory and say set array element on the false case. Then we connect the array index with the index, connect the item with the item. Then we want to destroy the actor. And at least we go from the character, get the widget. And then we just want to update the inventory. Of course, we connect the inventory with the inventory. And very important, we go from the update inventory back to the break. Then we go back to our append item. So we have this false case when we're not containing the item already in our inventory. In this case, we of course just call the add item. And then we connect the inventory and the character. So the good part now is we go back to our item class here and we say right click create child blueprint class. Let's call this book, open this up. And now we just have to set the static mesh. So I prepared this book and this portion. We select the book and go to the static mesh here, put it right here. Then we set the box collision a little bit like this, go to the book itself. And then we just enter the name, the amount, then the thumbnail, and we call this valid. And then we just do the same thing for the potion. So create a child, call this potion, open this up, select the static mesh, enter it right here, place the box collision like this one. And then we just enter the name, the amount, the icons or the thumbnail, and we call this valid. And then we just place these actors here 
inside the world. So the book on this chair, for example, put this book as well here. Then we place this portion on the table, for example, and on this table. And we now hit play, open up our inventory, go to this portion, press E. You can see there's one portion. We go to the second one here, pick it up as well. Now we have two. Pick up this book, the book is one. Pick up the second book and we have two portions and two books in our inventory. Great, so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know and yeah, goodbye.